you guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to my february collective haul shockingly i feel like this haul is going to be shorter than many of my previous hauls i personally did not do much shopping at all in the month of february i do have a few items from pr and then i do have a few gifts uh but it's not as overwhelming i feel like as some of my other months so if you guys are interested in seeing what has recently come into my makeup and beauty collection stay tuned first if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you love project painting content or you just like chit chat about makeup i would love if you would consider subscribing before moving on and other than that let's just jump into the video okay so i'm going to start with the products that i personally purchased for myself and i will say I gave myself the goal at the end of January to only bring five makeup products or to only purchase five makeup products for myself throughout the month of February. I went over that by two items, but there are a few items that I purchased because I wanted to test them out for an upcoming video, a splurge or save video, which I want to do on my channel quarterly. Um, and then also there's a couple just like random items when I was in Target. I was just like, oh, I'll try this. Why not? Um, but let's start with the two that I am most excited about. I was so incredibly thrilled when I saw that Samantha Ravindall was coming out with her own brand and I knew whatever it was, I was probably going to purchase this. I absolutely adore Samantha Ravindall. She's someone that I have followed since like the big, like 2015, 2016. Like I just absolutely adore her. I think she is so raw and just so real and everything about her. I just love her personality. Just like, I feel like in real life, if we had a conversation, we would just like click because it seems like we have the same, just like dry sense of humor and I adore her. So I was super excited to test out her brand. So I did end up picking up one of the Glow Lust. I believe I got the second lightest shade in the shade Selenite and I actually have yet to try this. Um, and then I also picked up one of the Smoke Reflex in the shade Defiance, which is the, um, the like bronzy shade. Again, have not tried this yet either, but I'm very, very excited about both of these products. Towards the beginning of February, I also picked up the Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation. I had been hearing so many good things about this foundation that I just had to try it for myself. I haven't tried it for myself yet. I haven't tried any of these products yet. I've been so bad. I barely wore makeup in February, it felt like, and I wanted to be testing some of the products that I had hauled in January so that I could get my review up on those. So I have not been good about testing the products that I brought in. Uh, most recently, actually today, I picked up these two products from NYX. I recently saw Kelly Gooch review this on her channel. This is the NYX High Glass Illuminating Powder in the shade Moonlight. She said that this was a more like natural lip from within type of highlight. And that is what I have been opting for lately. So I was really excited to try this out. And then I also picked up the Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation. I heard have heard that this is a potential dupe for the Giorgio Armani Neo Nude Foundation. So I wanted to put them to the test and see if they were indeed similar or dupes or whatever you want to call it. And then the final two products that I personally purchased for myself in the month of February were these two products. So I picked up the e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer. And the reason I picked this up is because I think it was Kelly as well who said that this is a really nice product if you like make a mistake and want to just clean something up, almost like a makeup eraser. And I have been testing out or playing around with winged liner more often. So I thought that this would be a nice product to just try and clean my winged liner up with. Oh my gosh, I sneezed right before I started filming and my nose is like dripping. Okay, hopefully we're better, but I probably have like a red nose now. Um, and then I also was perusing the Undone Beauty section of Target and decided to pick up this Flawlish, Flawlush Brow Longwear Fill and Gel Tint. So it looks like it's like a marker on one side and then it's like a like brow fiber type of product on the other side. I've really been wanting to test out a brow marker, which is why I decided to pick this up. This is in the shade Black Brown and clearly I have yet to test this as well because it's still in its packaging, but I want to say this was $10, so fingers crossed that this works out. Typically, I just do brow powder in my brows, but you know, I'm kind of wanting to like experiment with my brows this year and see what we can do to kind of improve them a little bit, you know? Okay, I do just want to quickly mention a few non 
makeup products that I did purchase for myself but in my makeup rehab series I'm only tracking like makeup purchases but I did need a new hair oil and I wanted to try this one from Bumble and Bumble it is their hairdressers invisible oil my personal favorite heat protecting spray is the one from Bumble and Bumble so I really wanted to try their hair oil I would say my favorite hair oil that I've tried is the Moroccan oil hair oil but I also really like Waze hair oil and I gotta say so far I'm not that impressed with this one like I think I'll be going back to the Moroccan oil after this but I did want you know I love to try new things so I wanted to give that a test um, and then recently I read Jen Atkins book and I didn't realize that she was like the founder CEO founders of Way. And I have dabbled in whey products. I have some products that I like, others that I'm like, meh. So I decided to pick up a leave-in conditioner, one for myself, but also for my daughter. That girl needs a leave-in conditioner because it's just, it's, it's a journey to get her to like properly wash her hair. So leave-in conditioner works really well for us. Um, I will say I don't necessarily love the fragrance on this leave-in conditioner, but I do feel like it does a really nice job of making my hair feel soft and less tangled in the morning. So, so far I've been a fan of this and regardless, it's worked really well for my daughter's hair care routine. So I'm a fan. And then I also decided to pick up the Way hand lotion. I'm not impressed with this. This is just like too thin. It just like does not feel all that hydrating on my hands. And I, I just need something that's a little bit more rich in terms of like the consistency and the actual hydration that it provides. I should have gone with the smaller bottle of this, testing it for the first time, but I was like, oh, this is such a better value. So this sits at my desk and I will use this up again. The fragrance is a little bit more, I don't want to say florally, but I just prefer, I prefer a more masculine scent, and this is just a little bit too feminine for me. Um, so, not a big fan of this so far. And then finally, I also picked up the Derma E Universal Cleansing Balm. I believe it was Kelly Gooch who has also raved about this product. And it was almost out of my, I think it's a DHC cleansing oil, which I was not a huge fan of. So I wanted to go back to a more balm-like consistency. And I'm really excited to test this out. I decided to wait to pop this open until I finished the DHC oil. And I actually finished that last night. So I'll be dipping into this today. Okay, next jumping into a few gifts. Um, my sister got me a Valentine's Day gift, which was super sweet. She purchased the entire Wild Child collection from ColourPop and gifted that to me, including the palette, but I don't have the palette in front of me because I hauled that in my palette haul. But I have the two blushes, which one is for sure, I think gonna be a little bit too deep on me, but I wanna try it as a bronzer. And again, I love that ColourPop seems like they listened a little bit on this launch and offered you know some tones that weren't on the deeper side this is the lighter of the two i love a bronzy blush so i'm super excited to jump into these and then it came with three super shock shadows i have tried two of the three they perform like the normal super shock shadows and i really like these because they are this these just beautiful bronzy tones like if i want a really sultry bronzy smoky eye this is the collection that I'm going to be digging into. I can absolutely see myself traveling with this in the future. Um, and I'm very excited about these. And then also it came with three lippy sticks. It's been a long time since I have used a ColourPop lippy stick. And these are more brown in tone, which aren't always my favorite. But I do think I am really going to like this shade right here, which is in the shade Brat Pack. So this is Brat Pack. This one right here, the deeper one, is in Sassy. And then finally, we have an even deeper shade, which I don't feel like is going to be my shade, which is okay, but this is in the shade O oh Behave, which is right there. We'll give it a go, though. I feel like this could potentially be really cute with a really grungy fall look. So I'm really excited for sure for these two shades, and we'll see about this. A bold brown lip is not something I have been known to rock, but you know, never say never. Uh, for Valentine's Day, my husband 
God bless him, I told him to like just get me makeup that like made him think of Valentine's Day. And so he got a bunch of like pink products. He purchased the Love palette from Natasha Denona, which I specifically requested. But then he also ordered me this blush from Kiko Milano, and I've really been wanting to try Kiko Milano. So I'm sure that this is a limited edition blush, but this is in the shade Ray of Love. And it is a really beautiful, like shimmery blush. It's definitely not a matte blush. Um, so if you don't like a more shimmery blush, this probably wouldn't be the formula for you. But I think that this is absolutely stunning and I'm actually really happy with this. And then he also picked me up a few lip balms slash lip oils because he knows my obsession with lip balms and lip oils. So he picked me up this cute little set from NARS. He didn't know it. He must not have known I was on a lip product. No, bye. We don't necessarily discuss what I'm not buying at the dinner table. Um, but it came with the NARS lip infused lip tint in the shade Orgasm. I will have this finished in the next few days. I tried to take the stopper out and this will not come out. Um, I'm obsessed with this. This is something that I definitely will be purchasing in the full size when I'm off my lip product restrictions. And then it also came with one of their Afterglow lip balms, which I also really like. This one is pretty sheer, but it's super comfortable on the lips and gives just like the slightest pink sheer tint to it. And I've been a big fan, like, okay, NARS, like I am ready to come for you and all of your lip products when I am no longer on this lip product, no buy. And then finally he picked up this from Dior. This is their, I think, lip maximizer. I could be wrong. Whatever it is, it's in the shade 022 Ultra Pink. And I, oh, sorry, it's their lip, lip glow oil. And I have also been a huge fan of this. There it is right there. Again, very sheer with just a slight pink tint to it and super, super comfortable on the lips. The doe foot reminds me of the Clarins lip oil, which I'm a huge fan of. So I am very happy to have this in my collection. And then to wrap it up, I just have four products that were sent to me in PR. So up first, I have this one from Cora Organics. This is their new Milky Mushroom Gentle Cleansing Oil. So this is a really unique product. As you can see, it is like separated. So you actually like flip it upside down back and forth until the products mix together. You're supposed to do this, I believe, rather than shake it. So then it mixes into this like milky texture. And I use this as a first step cleanse to like a two step cleansing routine. It has an interesting texture and consistency. And I wouldn't say it's my most favorite product in terms of breaking down all of my makeup. It is very gentle, but for that reason, I don't necessarily think it breaks down all my makeup and does the most amazing job, um, but it is really nice and gentle. So maybe if you are a very minimal makeup wearer and you don't have a lot of makeup to break down or whatever, and you like a really gentle skincare routine, skincare products, I, you might really like this. But for me, I just, I don't think that this will be something that I necessarily go out and repurchase when I finish it. And these three just arrived to me yesterday. So I just used this for the first time this morning. This is from Beauty Counter. It is their Bright C Serum. Um, I, it's been a while since I've had like a strictly vitamin C serum in my collection. So we'll see how this goes. This is really expensive. However, I will say I was actually really impressed with the packaging. It feels really nice and luxe. So I'm excited to continue to test this and come back and share my thoughts with you. And then from Skin Fix, they sent over these two products. So I have their Resurface Plus Glycolic Renewing Scrub. This is a double duty pre-shower body peel and polish for rough, rough, bumpy, and crepey skin. So I have super dry skin, so I'm hoping that this will help with that. This is not something you're supposed to use every single time that you shower, um, but I haven't, again, these came last night, I haven't tried these yet. And then it also came with their Resurface Plus HA Renewing Cream, which you're supposed to use after using this. And this is, again, not something that you are supposed to use every single day just because it is an AHA um, or has an AHA blend. And this also says it has lime extract. So this, I believe, is supposed to be a moisturizing body cream that smooths and softens rough, crepey skin. Clinically proven to reduce the appearance of bumps on the arms and thighs caused by stuff that I can't pronounce. 
um, also known as chicken skin. A natural source of AHA and willow bark extract, a natural source of AHA and willow bark extract gently exfoliate dead skin cells and smooth the skin. I'm all about smooth your skin. So we'll see how this goes. I'm really excited to test these products. Thank you to Skin Fix and also to the beauty counter for sending these products over to me. Um, but yeah, that is going to wrap it up for my February haul. I hope that this wasn't too, too long. I'm hoping March can be another smaller haul. I am trying to be better about bringing less product into my makeup collection. I know I'll probably end up purchasing a lot during the Sephora VIB sale as I always do. So I would like to just focus on the products that I currently have in my collection, test out new stuff and work on getting old stuff out of my collection to make room for the products that I will likely bring in during the Sephora VIB sale. But I would love to know have you guys recently brought any new products into your makeup collection what are you loving what are you not loving i would love to hear thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch today's video and for supporting my channel as you guys always do i love you guys so much and i will catch you in my next video bye